Hello everyone, welcome back to another Star Wars Destiny video. This is another deck video. This is a deck I've been kind of experimenting with. It is Elite Aura Singh and a single Captain Phasma. So again, we're running her, we're running Aura at 18, we're running Phasma at 12. Aura, of course, uh, 10 health, 1 range, 2 range, 2 range, disrupt, resource blank. And before you resolve the die, you may discard a card from your hand to increase its value by 1. So it becomes essentially... 2 damage, 3 damage, 3 damage, 2 disrupt, 2 resource. Running Phasma. So 1 range, 2 range, focus, discard, resource, blank. And your non-unique characters have the Guardian keyword. Um, that has no effect in this deck. But um, So we're running her at a single die. And we're running the Imperial Armory. Play an upgrade from your hand, decreasing its cost by 1. All the upgrades in this deck cost 1 or 2 resources. So you can get those e out for either for free or for 1 resource. And the main focus on this deck is to keep Aura alive and have Phasma take as much of the damage as she can while Aura is dealing out massive amounts of damage. So let's take a look at our upgrades. So we have two F11D rifles, so two resources. Has redeploy, so after the character is defeated, it can move over to another character. We have two damage for a resource, a plus one, a plus two, a resource, a special on the blank. And special is force an opponent to deal two damage to their characters. Distributing it as they wish. We have two uh, D817 blaster pistols, one resource, one range, two range for a resource, a plus two range, shield, and two blanks. Holdout blaster, two of them, two resources, one range, two range for a resource, plus two range, shield, resource, blank. Has ambush, so you get another action after you play it, and it also redeploys, so you get to move it to another character after that character is defeated. Down here, we have two jetpacks, so two resources, plus two range, plus three range, um, disrupt, two shields, special, and blank, and the special is remove a die showing melee damage and give the attached character one shield. Two ascension guns, two resources, one range, two range, focus, two discard for a resource, special, and blank, and use the ability on a battlefield that is not being used but was brought to the game as if you had just claimed it. Two fast scans. Uh, zero resources. After you activate the attached character, you may resolve one of its character up or upgrade dice. And then we have two armor plating. So one resource. Before the attached character takes um, damage, you may block up to two of it, then discard this upgrade from play. And finally, we have two personal uh, personal escort. One resource. The attached character, character has the guardian keyword. So we're going to be throwing this on Phasma, so when we roll her out, we can um, t take away damage and divert it to her and keep it away from Aura. So we're using the Guardian ability to essentially just reduce the damage that they can resolve against Aura, and also controlling their dice at the same time. Let's move into our events. So we have two da <coughs> sorry, two tactical mastery. One resource spot where a character to take up to two additional actions. We have two the best defense, one resource. Deal one of your red characters three damage to remove up to two of an opponent's dice. So we're going to be um, using this on Phasma. Remove two dice and then she'll take three damage. Two arm to the teeth. Discard any number of upgrades from one of your yellow characters. Then deal damage to a character equal to the number of upgrades you just discarded. This is a really cool way to like end the game. So if you um, have you have three upgrades on a character and you need to deal three damage to win the game, you just play this, discard those upgrades, and deal three damage and win. Um, I've won or closed out several games with this card. It's actually um, really good. We have two, he doesn't like you. Remove one of your dice to remove an opponent's die. Two leadership. One resource. Exhaust one of your unique red characters to ready another character. So you're going to roll out aura, resolve um, all the dice, all for dice, or as much many dice as you can. If you have a resource left over, you're going to pay that resource. You're going to exhaust Phasma and um, ready... Or a sing, and then roll her out again, and dealing even more damage. Uh, two electroshock, one resource, spot a yellow character to remove a die showing a value of two or lower. And finally, two bait and switch. Zero resources has ambush, uh, so you get the extra action after you play it. And turn one of your dice um, from the side showing a resource to any side. I had one game where I had aura. She didn't have fast hands yet, but I had aura on uh, both aura dice were showing two damage. And the holdout blaster was showing a resource. So I played bait and switch, switched the holdout blaster to its plus two side, um, resolved all three dice, and used Aura's ability to discard two cards 
to increase her two damage to three damage. So she's free for uh, six, and then the modifier from the holdout blast for eight, and I was able to defeat Snap in one shot, essentially. So main theme of the deck is um, keeping damage away from Aura and focusing it onto Phasma or having them put it onto Phasma with some stuff like best defense, um, her guardian ability, and so on. Um, healing damage, maybe even blocking damage with personal shield on Aura and things like that. So just keep Phasma alive and have Aura do just massive amounts of damage. So that's the deck. There'll be a link in the um, description where we can check out the deck on SWDestinyDB.com. That's going to do it for this video. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Take care.